Mayor, we're having a little problem with um, getting audio for Tiffany. So I'm working on that right now. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. And Tiffany, I just sent Aubrey your phone number so she can call and help you. Um, so if you see someone pop up, that's probably her. Is who's the appeals hearing officer? Or yeah, it's Matt. Okay. It looks like maybe Tiffany got her audio working. Tiffany, can you unmute yourself and, and let me know you can hear me? Tiffany, can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, okay. There can we you go. Hear me now? Yes. Okay. Okay. And then I start, is the video on or does that take a second? Um, your video is not on, it doesn't look like. Um, you'll have to enable that, but it's not even giving the option, it looks like. Can't connect to the camera. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hi, Matt. weird. I'm not sure how to fix that. I've not run across that issue before. Change, let's see. Video settings. You guys hear me okay? Yes. Oh, good. What it can't connect to camera. Let Cisco WebEx meetings access your camera and microphone in your system permissions. I don't know what that means. Unfortunately, neither do I. <laughs> um, At least you can hear us. That's a start. Yes. Um, and will Pete Bergman be joining us as well? He is with us. Yeah, I'm okay. here also. Yep. Okay. Matt, are you go ahead to go ahead? Are you good to go ahead with without them being on video? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with that. That's Okay, we we are recording and we have everybody present who needs to be. Okay. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Matt Worthlin and one of the appeals hearing officers for uh, Salt Lake City. Um, this is the beginning of our the planning divisions appeals hearing this evening. We have one item on the agenda. And that is uh, a variance request for a property located at 1707 and 1709 South Windsor Street. This is regarding case number PLNZAD 2022 01204. And uh, with that being the only matter, this is a, a public hearing, and those who do wish to speak to the public hearing in addition to the uh, applicant um, will provide time and an opportunity for you to provide that uh, input. Uh, and uh, so how we'll proceed uh, is we'll give um, we'll first hear from our uh, applicant. Uh, and just as, as a reminder, um, with respect to a, a, a variance, the burden does lie on the applicant to provide the, the evidence necessary to, um, to show that, uh, that the variance request is in accordance with the statutory provisions 
laid out in the Salt Lake City Ordinance on variances. And I may have some questions uh, uh, along the way as well. And then I'll give uh, Salt Lake, if anybody from Salt Lake City wants to respond or provide input, they're welcome to do that. And then we'll give the applicant the last uh, word uh, to respond to anything the city uh, says or to just provide any additional information. For the information of all uh, present, I everything that is in the uh, you know in the staff report is part of of the record and um, and so there's no need necessarily to um, restate uh, what is already in in the record but if you'd like to highlight or provide anything additional that that is is welcome um, and uh, but but just so you know, I have uh, carefully read the report, and uh, that will become part of the the record for a decision. Um, and um, and so we'll go kind of and then uh, sorry after uh, the applicant, I forgot. I will open it up to a after the applicant and the city both speak. I'll I will open it up for anybody from the public that would wish to. Provide any any feedback or a comment, and then we'll we'll give the uh, applicant the last word. So, if that's okay, I'll turn the over. It uh, looks like is it Tiffany Rowe who will be yes. uh, speaking for the applicant? Yes. All right, Tiffany, go ahead. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Um, we are looking basically for a vertical inline variance on an existing nineteen eighteen brick duplex. Um, we have a unique situation where the layout of the home and the stairs are on the exterior and it's um, bisected in a central axis. So in order to gain an upstairs, we were hoping to just stack ex uh, new stairs on top of the existing stairs to access um, bedrooms because this duplex has no legal egress bedroom. And we would really like to have good light, proper egress, um, where almost every home in the whole neighborhood has bedrooms with proper egress. Um, uh, and that's, you know, the inline variances used to be granted, and I know that's something that's changed in your code, but we really were looking for a simple solution where we can just go straight above on top of the existing house that is abutting next to a public, or no, I'm sorry, a private alley. So we felt like the setback on the north side wasn't really hindering anything by just stacking uh, an upstairs over the existing home. Um, I, I, I guess we, we believe that our request is reasonable. We don't see any negative complications that we can foresee, but of course we realize that the code is the code and trying to find a unique, you know, that we're in a unique situation and that that was the difficulty for us um, because we truly believe it is a simple solution to give both families, not just a single family, but both families room to expand and have proper bedrooms. So in a nutshell, that is really kind of what we're looking for. Uh, thank you, thank you, Tiffany. Let me ask just a, a, a couple of questions. Um, you, you mentioned that the, the duplex has no legal egress uh, bedroom bedroom with egress. Is that both both sides? Correct. And, and so it, it, that all comes through the center of the house where it's bisected with the single set of stairways. Right. Okay. And the stairways are on the exterior side. So, I mean, you could con reconfigure it. Um, it just, we were just trying to make sense, simple sense, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's, that, that, that does, uh, that does make, make sense. Um, and, and I appreciate that you're looking for a common sense uh, solution here. And so, uh, again, as I, as I see it, that the, 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 uh, 
the side it's it's the north side that abuts the um that abuts the alley which is where the um uh where the uh setback is non-conforming is that is that, that is, right that is correct okay and and so what what you're saying is the purpose of the setback might be to um you know avoid blocking any views or providing any concerns with the neighboring house or something the fact that it's not there it's more it's an alley in your mind that mitigates that concern essentially essentially yes not not to put words in your mouth yeah no it, okay. yeah i mean we were just trying a reasonable solution to get the egress bedrooms right okay and 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 was this home always a a, a duplex i mean kind of from the time it was built it was born it was always built like this or is do you have any idea on the history of the the site it was definitely born a duplex in 1918. Okay. 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 Any anything else, uh, Tiffany? You'd like to point out for my benefit? Um, I think that's about it. I mean, you've reviewed all of the other drawings and all that, and yes. the, Yes. Um, yeah, so I mean that's that's really the gist of it. Um I really miss right. the inline I really miss the inline variance option we used to have, but that's just me. <laughs> yes, well that that made this a little more straightforward. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so um, okay, uh I'm gonna open it up. Uh well uh, let's see, let's have the city um if they would like to uh respond um to to this and uh is it looks like chris is chrissy gilmore here from the there's chrissy uh if you'd like to add anything or just respond or summarize or point anything out before we open it up for public yeah. i'll just keep it very brief um that you know we do understand the applicant's wish and completely sympathize with that desire However, we don't believe that this meets the, the standards for a variance um, as far as special circumstances to the property. Well, it is unique that it is a duplex. Um, the lot width and the lot size is not unusual for the, the, the zone or the neighborhood. Um, many homes on the same street and in the zone also have encroach, encroachments into that side yard setback and would also be limited to do a vertical inline addition. Um, and then just and you have this in your staff report, but as covered in the staff report, um, you know, there are as we look at a substantial property, right? And in our assessment, we don't believe that an expansion on a home is a substantial property, right? Um, and that it's a self imposed hardship because it's a desire for more living space when, um, when that's we just don't see it as a substantial property, right? I did want to address the alley part as well. So I looked into the alley and went through property records. And while it does, you know, appear by the naked eye to be a public alley, it's actually not a public alley. It's private, and it this so the property owner couldn't go through a public process with the city to vacate that alley. However, they do have the option of you know approaching those property owners that abut the alley on the north side. Um, or the other side of the alley and seeing if there's potential to acquire that property onto their lot um, as a solution to get that frontage because I do understand that it, it appears they do have that setback even though it's not technically their property and it's also not public property um, it's a it's a 10 foot um, ri private right of way that's connected to those adjacent properties um, I think that's all I have um, if you if you have the report and our assessment Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, I'll now uh, open it up for uh, any comments from uh, members of the public. Uh, do Do we have anybody that's joined us that uh, would like to uh, comment on this petition? We do not have any members of the public that have joined the meeting. Okay. Okay. Well, given that, I will close uh, the public hearing and. 
as promised, Tiffany, you 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 can have the last word if if you would like. If there's anything else you would like or need to respond to anything that the, that the city said, you are welcome to do so. Well, I, yeah, I just want to thank everyone for all the work everybody's put into this. Um, there's been a lot of conversations back and forth, and um, just kind of working through the code and what's reasonable and what's against the word the verbiage. Um, so, I mean, we always maintained hopefulness, but we fully understand what and respect what is decided today. So thanks to everyone. Thank you, uh, Tiffany. Um, and, and, I, and I think, uh, candidly, what you had said before when they used to have the inline variance option under the under the code that 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 was kind of tailor-made for this kind of situation with with that gone we are uh however you want to put it stuck with so to speak the the language of uh the variance standards and as as you probably know a, a variance uh, it is very hard to meet the standards of, of a variance, um, just because you know, essentially they, and, and for for good public policy reasons, as you can imagine, if a variance were just a, a a big door that people could go through to get around the zoning ordinance, it, it could easily be taken advantage of, and so it, it is um, uh, by design meant meant to be as as restrictive and as conservative as possible to not allow very many uh, uh, exceptions to whatever particular standard is in place and, uh, and, and but does allow for it in, in in the situations where if there is something particularly unique about the property if it's shaped in, in a particular way um, you know, unfortunately, uh, the, 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 the way the building is, is built or the type of building it, it has never been recognized as one of those um, uh, uh, unique uh, parts of a property that would uh, allow for a, a variance or that would, would, would um, a, a arise as being something specifically peculiar to the property that creates an unusual hard, hardship. Um, as, as I have gone through uh, the, the, the various standards and, and looked at um, the, the facts and, and the drawings, it, it, it's clear that there are other ways of, of accomplishing this and it is not considered a, an unnecessary hardship not to be able to have the particular design that, that 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 you want now having said all of this and unfortunately it's completely meaningless technically under the law but i have a lot of sympathy for this petitioner i mean i mean to, to everybody here if it was just a matter of saying gosh what 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 makes sense and what's the the best way to do this and uh what what you have proposed uh, makes a lot of sense, and I think everybody, if I put them up to it, they would have to admit that that's the case. Unfortunately, as as a as as a uh, appeals hearing officer, I am required to follow uh, the, the 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 law as it is outlined in in the ordinance, and um, it would it would be required based on, again, the testimony and everything in the staff report and all the evidence that that this does not, and, and I do rule that this does not meet the standards uh, for uh, a, a variance, and so would, um, uh, would uh, rule, uh, unfortunately, against the petition and deny the petition because it does not meet the standards required under the ordinance. And I I wish there was another way uh, that I did not have to, and I realize that is cold comfort uh, for you as, as, as you have been trying to do everything to make this happen. But 
uh, with respect to the scope of what I can do as as an officer to make this decision, uh, I'm required to follow the law. And 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 I think it's very clear that the, that the variant standards are are not met. So um, I'd encourage you to look for other other options. And there's always the option of going to the city council and having them change the law. That's not. I realize that's not easy uh, or or um, efficient either. But that's what we're we're, we're stuck with, and, and that's my decision. And I appreciate everybody's time and work and I, I'm not trying to minimize the, the, the work and the effort that have gone into this and the hope that we could find uh, a, an easy solution. Unfortunately, the variance just isn't a, a, a possibility. So with that, uh, that concludes uh, our hearing tonight and on this issue, I will uh, there will be a written decision that will, will come out that will just outline and, and, and specifically address each of the uh, areas of the ordinance. But um, uh, but that's my decision and I, and I appreciate everybody's time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Scott. You bet. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye. Thank you.